And what case it's Anna, also known as that Star Wars Girl. And once again, I'm going to be doing another video follow up on the Disney shareholder meeting. Now, I've done a video on this already where I talked about the Gina Carano situation. The link for that is in the description of this video if you want to check that out. But so during this shareholder meeting, Bob Chapek, the new CEO of Disney, was asked two very controversial questions. The first one was about Gina Carano, and the second one was about Kathleen Kennedy. So I have that section of the shareholder meeting clipped, so I'm going to play it for you. If you would like to actually go and listen to this entire shareholder meeting, the link for that is in the description of the video. But let's check out what Bob Chapek, the CEO of Disney, had to say when asked directly by one of the shareholders if there were any plans to fire Kathleen Kennedy. Greetings and salutations. Um, are you guys looking at firing Kathleen Kennedy or asking her to resign um, and promote somebody like Filoni or Favreau or both as a co-counsel? Thank you for your question, George. Uh, we've been absolutely thrilled that we can have the kind of creative talent uh, uh, in our company, uh, the likes of Kathy Kennedy to run Lucas. And uh, we look forward to having Kathy uh, directing the activities of the entire Lucasfilm organization for many years to come. Thank you for your question. Next question, please. All right, so apparently based on that answer, it appears that the Wicked Witch of Star Wars is not going to be fired, which blows my fucking mind. I don't understand how they think in any way this is a good business decision. All this woman has done is fuck shit up from the beginning. Remember how she's all like, oh, the Force is female, and now she's become the butt of every joke because of that whole fade-in fiasco where she was presenting uh, women for the Oscars or their, their Oscar award, and every single comment that got deleted because they had to turn off their comments and likes to dislike ratio because it was getting ratioed and roasted to ever-living fucking hell. Well, guess what? She's all for women and everything, but the second that a woman stands up for herself and has opinions that she doesn't like, what does she do? She has that woman fired. Gina Carano, she had fired without even having the courtesy of fucking calling her. Gina Carano had to find out that she was fired from social fucking media. How unprofessional can you get? And she goes around saying, oh, we need to break the glass ceiling. We need to make more room and give more women opportunities it's like bitch are you fucking stupid you've had opportunities to give women opportunities in star wars since 2000 and fucking 12 have you done that absolutely fucking not she had the opportunity as the first female president of Lucasfilm to appoint a female director and put all of these women in charge uh, or in big positions in Star Wars. Did she do that? No. She surrounded herself with men by men that were to be completely subservient to everything that she wished. And the second that you challenge her, she fucking fires you. Look at the Solo, and or Soilo I should say, and look at how many fucking directors were on that project. Hashtag Soilo lost money. She could have started off by having hey, guess what? Let's get the first female director that won an Oscar. Uh, what, what's her name? Miss Bigelow? Uh, I think that's how you say it. it it's, uh, Kate, uh, Catherine, uh, Bigelow. Go get her. She directed The Hurt Locker. And go have her direct the first, you know, Star Wars movie. Instead of having, uh, J.J. Abrams. If she really believed the force is female, let's put women into positions of power. And let's help out all of the women in the entertainment industry. Instead, what's she doing? Oh, yeah, me and my husband were at SNL and we, there was no female camera people it's like well maybe that's because it's really fucking heavy machinery Kathleen Kennedy and maybe maybe just maybe women don't want to do that I mean I'm sure that there's women out there but I'm sure other women that were working on the SNL set when her and her husband went they wanted to do other things aside from operating the cameras but no Kathleen Kennedy's got a virtue signal and say ah there's no women operating the cameras on SNL all of those years ago but instead of hiring actual women to, you know, do screenwriting, directing, cinematography, what does she do? She hires men. 
but the force is female, Kathy. And then, oh my gosh, a woman. A woman is posting things on social media. That is kind of, you know, because we just had an election, a very controversial election, and a woman was posting stuff about the election, voicing her opinion, which is, you know, her right underneath the freaking First Amendment of the United States of America. And, oh, oh my gosh, a man is posting some, something similar, but on the opposite side of the fence. Guess which one got fired? Oh yeah, the woman not the man. You want to tell me that Disney isn't sexist and Kathleen Kennedy doesn't have a vendetta against women or she she likes to be the only woman at the party. She's one of those women. She likes to surround herself with subservient men that will do whatever the fuck she wants. And the second that a woman comes in, she's immediately threatened. That's why all of the women that she surrounds herself by, well, first off, it's almost non-existent, but all of the women that she does, it's because she can hold something over again or over them. Gina Carano, she has absolutely no control over. So guess what? Oh, the second that there's some kind of controversy? Bye, Felicia. Bye, Gina. That's what Kathleen Kennedy does. So they allow a woman like that to stay in power. Blows my fucking mind. Do you not understand how you were just bleeding money, Disney? It blows my absolute fucking mind. And I'm sorry, I'm getting a little angry. It's just... It blows my mind how fucking hypocritical. This woman doesn't know anything about Star Wars. Again, that blows my mind. She worked with George Lucas for years, and the bitch doesn't know anything about Star Wars. She went and complained. She's like, oh my god, it's not my fault that John, or not John Favreau, what, what's his face? The guy from Marvel, I'm blanking on his name, but the dude from Kevin Feige. What, Kevin Feige, he has all the source material. We at Star Wars, it's not like we, we don't have 800 page novels. We don't have source material. We don't have comic books or novels or anything like that so it's not fair that star wars is held to the standard that marvel is out because marvel has source material and then what a few months later when she's at the investor day meeting all of a sudden she has a script and all of a sudden now she just discovered the eu it's not like she had video games novels comics that all happened while she was working with george lucas that she would have known about so you're telling me that this dumbass fucking cunt Worked for George Lucas for fucking decades, and she didn't know about any of this shit. How on earth can they think that it is a smart decision to have a woman that is so incompetent at her fucking job uh, to continue to work for them and just bleed money? She has alienated the fan base with the decisions that she makes, with the people that she puts in charge of Star Wars. Again, she wants to fake virtue signal, hashtag the force is female, but then look at how she treats women. Look how she had every opportunity in the world to put women in positions of power, and what did she do? Instead of giving the positions to women, she gave them to men that would be subservient and lick her fucking boots. So this is a fucking ridiculous decision. It's so fucking idiotic. And it blows my mind that they don't see that. It's like, Disney, isn't your interest in making money? Yeah, you want to put on a front that, oh, it's about creativity and blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, you're not even getting creative people. You're not even making creative decisions. You're letting the Twitter mob dictate everything that you fucking do. And then you have a woman in charge that has some kind of vendetta against working with actual strong women that she'll just get men that will lick her boots and do whatever she wants. And you look at the thing, she's lost so much money for the company. Look at Solo. How many fucking directors did they go through? How much money did they lose? Because men said no this is the way that I want it and this is the vision that I want it and she's like okay well then bye I don't care how much money I'm gonna lose I'm gonna replace you and then with Obi-Wan Kenobi the Obi-Wan Kenobi show was exactly like the Mandalorian the whole plot and it got so far into production before she realized hey this is the exact same premise that the Mandalorian is going maybe we should stop and do a redirection it's like oh my god I don't understand. This is one of the most moronic answers I've ever heard. And I mean, maybe they're just terrified because of how she's connected in Hollywood, but it just blows my mind that people that lose this much money that are such a detriment to the fucking company are allowed to stay in positions of power. Anyways, everyone, that's my little rant on it. I didn't expect to get that heated, but uh, there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Also, can you please like and share this video? YouTube is like, hey, fuck you, Anna, uh, in the algorithm. It was doing well for a while, then they're like, Oh, let's shadow ban everything. So if you could like, share, leave a comment, it would really help me out and I would really appreciate it. So thank you everyone. I hope you have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And may the force be with you because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye everyone. Hey everyone, I just wanted to let you know if you didn't know already that I have an Etsy where I sell prints of my artwork. I got horror villains, Marvel, DC, and Star Wars characters. The latest Star Wars character that I just added was the one 
the only, Gina Carano as Cara Dune. Now, Gina herself even loved the painting. So if you want to go check that out, the link is in the description of this video. They are selling like crazy, and I am still only in the pre-sale, so go pick that up before they're gone. Also, if you want to see a video of me painting and explaining how to paint like this, go over and check out my art channel. The link is in the description of this video. Go over, smash the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. That way you don't miss it when I post the video. Everyone, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Hey everyone, do you like comics? Do you like graphic novels? Do you like the Fandom Menace? And do you want to support members of it? Well, go check out Stealing Solo, the Fandom Menace edition. So this is actually a variant cover edition that was painted by yours truly of Jeff's graphic novel Stealing Solo. Now, as you can see, there's uh, very recognizable members of the Phantom Menace community as well as the Toxic Brood. You got the EFAP crew up top, which is Mahler, Wolf, and Rags, the OG EFAP crew. You got Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, Jeff from World Class Bullshitters, Jesse Milestone of Mindless Entertainment. There's me right here, which is uh, obviously Anna, that Star Wars girl. And then you got Ethan Van Skyver of Comic Artist Pro Secrets and, you know, the one and only Cyber Frog artist and creator. Then you got Cecil over here from Cecil says you got mecha random 42 you got tom from midnight says and then last but not least there's gary from nerd erotic now this was a actual oil painting that i did it took me six months to do and it's been uh, a collaboration between me and jeff since star wars celebration 2019 there's a bunch of awesome tiers here so if you guys want to check it out you can get you know posters trading cards t-shirts and then the variant cover comic in both color and black and white there's a few more other tiers in here if you guys want to get different versions of it that jeff came out with that was the limited day first day exclusive of the stealing solo parody uh cover that had the og uh high council on it along with cecil from cecil says so if you guys want to go check that out the link is in the description of the video the book is completely done and ready to print so once uh these 40 days or excuse me uh yeah 58 days are up the book is going to be printing and then shipping to you so if you guys want to go back this and support me and my art go check it out the link is in the description thank you so much everyone and have a great rest of your day and may the force be with you